The governor of Wyoming is considering suing the Bureau of Land Management over its proposed resource management plan in the Rock Springs area. Two more grizzlies are killed in the Yellowstone area, and October is prime time to visit Yellowstone National Park. Bringing you these stories and more from Wyoming's largest news organization, I'm Wendy Kaur for Cowboy State Daily. Governor Mark Gordon's office is looking at suing the Bureau of Land Management over its proposed resource management plan in the Rock Springs area. That information was revealed during a legislative committee meeting Wednesday discussing an issue that's riled up residents and local leaders, according to Cowboy State Daily's Leo Wolfson. Staff in the office of the governor is discussing plans for what it will do regarding a possible lawsuit against the BLM in the case that the preferred plan that is causing mass outrage throughout Wyoming is finalized by the BLM. While the plan plan is just in draft stages at the moment, the option with the most aggressive conservation efforts is what's being proposed and supported by the BLM. Well, although things have remained relatively quiet this fall in terms of grizzly trouble in Wyoming, several bears have been shot by hunters in self-defense around the region, including two in Idaho, who were killed by archery hunters. Cowboy State Daily's Mark Hines reports that an adult male grizzly was shot and killed September 1st near Island Park Reservoir, and in a separate incident, bow hunters shot and killed an adult female grizzly Saturday near Henry's Lake. It's not unusual to have a lot of encounters between bears and archery hunters because the bears are out there trying to wolf down as many calories as they can so they can fatten up for the winter. And the hunters are out there being real quiet and making elk calls. Hines reports that in both cases, the hunters were moving through thick cover when they encountered the bears at close range and were charged. An Aetna man is accused of firing a shotgun through a motel room while in Alpine right over the head of someone sleeping in the next room. But that incident only brought attention to the fact that 54-year-old Javier Martinez allegedly stole that shotgun along with another firearm, which is a felony in Wyoming no matter what the value of the guns. That's according to Cowboy State Daily's Claire McFarland. Wyoming law is fascinating because if you steal something, if it's under $1,000, you can potentially spend a few months in jail. But if it's over $1,000, you could potentially spend 10 years in prison. Except Wyoming law has it that if you steal a gun, a horse, a mule, a sheep, a cow, a buffalo, or a pig, you can be charged with a felony no matter the value of that pig or gun or other creature. Martinez is charged with one count of felony theft and could face up to 10 years in prison and $10,000 in fines if convicted. I'll be back with more news right after this. At Hilltop Bank, we understand that buying a home is a big decision. That's why we're here to be your trusted partner on the path to home ownership. Our experienced mortgage team will guide you every step of the way, from pre-approval to closing. We offer competitive rates and a wide variety of home loan options to best suit your needs. With our local knowledge and personalized service, you'll feel confident and comfortable throughout the entire home buying process. Contact us today to start your journey toward home ownership. Hilltop Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Despite winter storm winds that rival hurricanes, there's much to love about Wyoming, especially its people. That's what the new leader of the Wyoming Highway Patrol told Cowboy State Daily's Mark Hines. Colonel Tim Cameron took over the Highway Patrol in January, just in time for a massive 50 vehicle pileup on I-80 caused by Wyoming's brutal winter. Not long after that, one of his troopers got hit by a semi in a winter storm. He gave a little anecdote that said that the trooper described the weather to his wife that, oh, it was breezy. And he said, you know, the winds I was out there were were worse than any hurricane I ever went through on the East Coast. And this guy's calling it breezy. So, In addition to adjusting to the vast landscapes and brutal winters in the cowboy state, Cameron has taken command of the WHP at a time when the agency has been critically understaffed. Although he said the current class of potential recruits is the largest the Highway Patrol has seen in many years. And Yellowstone National Park and its gateway communities are finding October's shoulder season is becoming more of a draw for tourism and visitors. Cowboy State Daily's Andrew Rossi reports that the core season of Yellowstone is the the summer, but the shoulder season, which is now expanding into October, is becoming busier and more lucrative for the park and the gateway communities. There's no denying that October is becoming increasingly popular, which means there's more money flowing into the park and the gateway communities at a time when it can really be useful. In recent years, the Wyoming Office of Tourism has been allocating more resources promoting Yellowstone's shoulder seasons rather than the juggernaut of the peak summer season. And that's today's news. Get your free digital Digital subscription to Wyoming's only statewide newspaper by hitting the subscribe button on CowboyStateDaily.com. I'm Wendy Core for Cowboy State Daily.